Hey everybody, Cranky Stacker. I got a question this afternoon from a new sub. Um, his channel is at the average sum one, and that uh, I'll put it in the title of the video. Um, but it's at the the average sum number one. Um, his question was uh, basically about bars. Um, do you leave them in, is it better to leave them in the original mint packaging? Let me get this dead burn camera going here. Do you leave them in the original mint packaging? Like these? Um, or is it better to put them in capsules? Um, like this OPM bar. Sunshine Mint Bar. Um, and so I, I thought I'd do a little, quick little video for him regarding the question because I am personally a little bit lazy about getting them into uh, out of the mint packaging. I've heard mixed mixed feelings on, uh, on whether or not to keep them in the mint packaging. Now, this is one of my favorite bars. Uh, this is Michael the Archangel, and I took it out of the original mint packaging. Now, I still have some in the mint packaging, but this one I handle. So I put it in a, uh, I put it in a capsule, and I'm going to turn this down a little bit here. We'll get off the back logo there. Um, but these are in original packaging, and I honestly, I, I, I never get in a hurry to put them in capsules, um, unless when I purchase them, um, they don't come in a package, sealed package like this Silvertown Mint Bar. Or uh, if they come in just like a regular slip, something like that, just slid in, just depending on whether I uh, buy it at a, you know, out of a bargain bin. I'm a big bargain bin hunter. But um, my opinion is, you know, I, I, I like to handle my silver. Um, so... I put them in capsules for the most part because then let me get this open here then I can take it out and handle it um, I my feeling is with silver, look, it's it's an, an, an investment for my kid's future. Um, and it is uh, it is a precious metal. It does tarnish with age. Um, you can see with this peace dollar, the toning on this, darkening of it is absolutely gorgeous. That's on, a, on its way to England tomorrow or the next day. But um, the bars, uh, you know... To me, I like to be able to handle my silver. And so I'm a little slow about it. Um, I don't think that, like for instance, here we go. Let's get this herd of buffaloes out here. So I've got 18 one ounce buffaloes here, still in the mint package. I've had these probably two or three weeks and eventually we'll probably put them into capsules um, I've got the capsules it's just a matter of uh, when I get around to it um, so this bar is a is in mint packaging here this is a silver town I've had this probably the better part of the year that I've been stacking and uh, uh, there's you can see there's no no toning it is uh, it is still in really good shape that was in a bargain bin believe it or not but I just don't uh, I don't I don't worry too much about it as far as putting uh, putting things in capsules immediately now having said that um, I got some advice from from my my first and best friend in the community and she's very very smart and she uh she had some good points you know some of her thoughts um 
really, she said it kind of depends on the original packing packaging. Um, you know, it depends on the mint, like Scottsdale here. That's 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 tight. That's that's not going to really that I see have any problems. She also said it depends on the age and the rarity of the bar, like my Inglehard, and I believe that was 1983 or something like that was the only year they made that plane back on Inglehard. But these are, you know, these are vintage. These are highly collectible. They are, they fetch a nice premium. So the age and the rarity, she said, kind of depends on whether she's going to put them into a uh, capsule or not. And, um, and it depends on if she's going to resell it. If she's going to resell it, um, her question at that point in time is, is would it be better to resell it? Would it, would it, and I quote, fetch a better premium in the packaging, such as this. Or would it be all right to sell and get the same price in a capsule, non-mint packaging? So there's there's a, a bunch of different schools of thought. I'm sure there are other videos out there that'll that'll tell you lots of things. Um, get up there. That's my new logo. Now we'll use the. Uh, after all, tomorrow is another day. But um, you can see this Silvertown 5 ounce is in mint packaging. I've had this quite a while and I've had no issues with it toning. Um, nor with this one. So it really kind of depends on your preference. I, I probably will put these into capsules um, and then buy a... Uh, a tube that'll that'll hold the capsules, um, and you know a lot of people are worried about marking their silver up and that type of thing. But again, it's uh, you know there you go, it's silver, um, <laughs> and that's <laughs> that's my two cents worth there. Um, there's a lot of different points, but you know it's it's really kind of funny. When it comes down to bars, I'm not that particular. Now, when I go to my coins, my rounds, um, I think silver and cigars or, or constitutional stack or somebody back a while back here said, you know, like these are generic rounds here from Scottsdale Mint. They're beautiful. And when I first started stacking, I put everything in capsules. Everything. Like 60 here, 60 over here. I've got my Britannia's uh, maple leaves are in a tube. I've got my Philharmonics. I've got my ASEs over here. Um, I've got all of my Libertads in, uh, in capsules, um, except for the older ones. So... To my, to my thinking, capsules are a really good thing, um, but there's different schools of thought. I think it's kind of what you got to, you just got to kind of think what you want to do. And like I said, with the rounds, it's kind of the same thing. I, I like to hear the sound of silver. I like to, to feel the silver in my hands. And in that regard, if you're not planning on like flipping them or turning them for a profit, if you're going to be a long-term holder of the silver, I think you can go either way. I don't think it really makes any difference one way or the other. Um, but I think the majority of people... That's nice. I think the majority of people uh, will put them in capsules. And having said that, um, I am going to point out that I did, I got these square capsules here and for my 10th ounce coins, uh, my 10th ounce gold coins, I just did order some, uh, 16 and 13 millimeter capsules for the gold. So, uh, you know, it, it just is a, I think it's a matter of preference. 
and it, it depends on whether you're going to be a stacker. If it's a collectible piece, obviously you want the best protection you can. There are different quality capsules, I might add, too. Um, some are airtight, some are not. And you want to get, uh, you want to spend the money and get some airtight capsules if you're going to put them in capsules because obviously um, if it's not an airtight seal, then then that's not going to do that much, make mu that much of a difference. So anyway, on the capsules, I would recommend this guy right here. I just placed an order with him yesterday and, oh. We're going to go right there with that. Just placed an order with this guy right here, onfireguy.com. He has capsules, accessories, all kinds of things uh, for, for rounds, coins, bars, all types of things. You can get 5-ounce bar capsules. You can get 10-ounce bar capsules. Um, so I hope that helps with the question on that. And I would like if uh, if everybody in the community would reach out to this young young man, and I, I know he's a, he's a pretty new stacker from what I understand, um, and I do think he's going to have some questions. And anybody that's got the wisdom out there more so than I, um, I told him to give me a call or text me anytime he has a question. But if he goes back and watches some videos from some of these great content people, uh, Tule Tule, Silver and Cigars, Conscientious Stacker, uh, or Constitutional Stacker, Conscious Stacker, uh, some of the old school guys, um, you'll, you'll learn what you need to learn. And um, there's a wealth of information out there. And, uh, and so you can get some, ask some good questions and you'll get some great answers. Um, I just uh, can't say enough about the, the community out there. But anyway, um, the original point was bars in mint packaging or bars in capsules. I think you can go either way. But, uh, oh, one last point. There are some bars, um, and the Engelhard is, is uh, vintage, the OPM is vintage but I have one one ounce bar that's a Great Lakes uh, mint and it is an odd size so occasionally you might run into a one ounce bar that doesn't have doesn't fit the one ounce capsule I don't know the solution to that uh, unless you uh, unless you pour then you can just melt it down and <laughs> or sell it uh, anyway that's what I got for you I hope that helps with your question if it generates more questions in your mind, um, you know how to get a hold of me because I'm right here on the Cranky, cranky Stacker channel. And uh, I want to give my, uh, my good friend Tuli Tuli a shout out for, for uh, giving me her input on the, uh, on the question. And... Uh, That's about it. So, having said that, I will put a uh, I will put this this young man's uh, the average someone stacker out there. I'll I'll put a link or at least list a channel name. Name. I don't think he has many subscribers. I'm assuming he. Forgive me for that. Um, like maybe eight. So, how about it, community? Um, go check this, uh, the average someone channel on YouTube. Go check it out. Subscribe. And, uh, let's get them in the fold and, uh, show them some love. All right. So this is a cranky one. And I'm going to tell you the same as always. Stay safe. Shoot straight. Keep stacking. And I'm out.